Hello! Welcome back to my classroom. Forgot my wand. Boop! Which is... Oh. Forgot my wand. Welcome back to my classroom. Bam! Calculator. Okay, so today we are moving on to Unit 5, Rational Expressions and Functions. And I was telling the in-class learners before I started recording that today's stuff, today's lesson, is one of my favorite things that in math. So, hopefully you guys don't hate it. Hopefully. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about in this rational expressions unit is how to simplify rational expressions. So before we can simplify them, we got to know what they are. A rational expression is a fraction, is a fraction, fraction, where the numerator and or the denominator are polynomials. Meaning they have like an x plus and minus or an x squared plus 5 minus 2, so on. So it has to be a fraction and the top or the bottom has to basically have an x in it. So now that you know that, circle all of these things out of A, B, C, D, E, F. Circle all of the ones that you think are rational expressions. Go. Remember, it has to, has to be fraction and a polynomial in the numerator and or denominator. Okay, B as in beta. What's it in in the what's it in the word alphabet? Alpha is it beta? Bravo. Bravo. B as in bravo is a rational expression. And so is F. Most of the rational expressions we talk about are like B or F. I'm not sure about D because D is really equal to X to the negative 2, which I don't ex I'm not expecting you guys to know that. But I'm pretty sure that D is not a rational expression. If you circled it, it's fine because it is a fraction and X squared is in the polynomial family. But I'm not sure that he is. So I would look for ones that look like B or F. What's the military letter for F? Alpha Bravo Charlie. Delta Fox, I think you're right, Fox. Is is D Delta? Echo Fox. Gary. Gary's for G. What's G? Gary. Go forth and prosper. No? We should look these up. I like to know the military letters. Okay. So to simplify... A rational expression is in simplest form. This blank is simplest form. Is in simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common factors which sounds horrible, but I promise you it's not. So, the bad news is that to um, simplify, we have to factor. The good news is there's two pieces of good news. Number one, 
After that, it's super easy. Number two, I'll teach you a shortcut in Desmos if you factor with or struggle with factoring. Ready? Ready? Okay, so we have to factor this top polynomial. And he's going to factor into two binomials. So remember, I've taught you how to do this where you list out all the factors. You find the ones that add or subtract to the middle term. So 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, we're supposed to subtract. I get a negative 11, a negative 4, and a negative 1. So it has to be these two factors. And I'm going through this quickly, and I know that I am, because we've done this several times. So if you're lost, you can do the shortcut. So we have x plus 2, x minus 6. Fraction line. Do you guys remember how the bottom one factors? Oh, come on, you guys know this. We've done a million of these at this point. Square root, so our factors are x plus, no, 2, x minus 2. So I noticed as I was walking around last time and I was checking your quiz scores that a lot of you guys forgot to root this when you got to the quiz. You have to make sure that you take the root. Now guess what? To simplify, we just cross out the thing that's the same in the top and the bottom. So the answer to this question is x minus 6 over x minus 2, or the answer to what they want us to do. You can leave it in parentheses if you would like to, but you don't have to. Not too bad, right? Right? Right. Right. Okay, you ready for another one? Cross out number two. I don't want to do, I don't, wait, 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 wait. Change the top of number two to x squared minus one. So change the numerator of number two to x squared minus one. Now we got to factor the top and the bottom. The top's now easy. It's an x plus and an x minus. What goes with those x's? Excellent. Plus 1, minus 1. Don't forget to root. We got to factor the bottom, which hopefully is easy because we only have one options for the factors of three. What are they? Three and one or one and three. So this has to be x plus one, x minus, just kidding, x plus three. Okay? Cancelage, cancel those out. And our answer to numero dos is x minus 1 over x, x plus 3. Okay, now go to Desmos and plug in this trinomial. So go to Desmos and plug in x squared plus 4x plus 3. Hustle thy booty. Oh no, I have a million things in my Desmos. I guess I could have just... X squared plus 3X plus 4. Oh, that's an S. Did I plug that in right? Oh, it's backward. Okay. What are you guys noticing about your factors and your parabola? 
You notice anything? Yeah, what are those points on the x-axis that I have highlighted? Negative 3 and negative 1. Revisit your factors here. Positive 3 and positive 1. How are those related? Starts with an O. How is negative 1, negative 3 related to positive 1, positive 3? They're opposites. So if you don't know how to factor, you can use Desmos. You have to use the x-intercepts, but you must remember to change the signs. So if the x-intercepts are a negative 3 and a negative 1, what you need to write down is a positive 3 and a positive 1. So let's just verify that this works for some of the ones we've already done. We did a minus 4x and a minus 12. Our x-intercepts here were a positive 6 and a negative 2, which means what you write down on your paper is a positive 2 and a negative 6. Same with the x squared minus 4. It'll do the special ones for you. You get a negative 2 and a positive 2. So if you want to use Desmos to help you factor these, you must use the opposite of what you see on the graph. Is this making sense? Yes? Okay, I know all y'all know how to plug these in. And some of you guys, when it's quiz time, like to sit there and look at the same screen for 20 minutes. A monkey could do this. So you will get this quiz done, no matter what. Okay, we're not done yet. I'm just saying. All right. So, back to business. We're on number three. The numerator. Can we factor the numerator? No. He is what he is. He just got to stay like that. The denominator, though, we can factor. What are his factors? Well, if it's just an x, you probably don't need to factor it. If you're confused, plug in x plus 4, and you'll see that it goes through negative 4, which means that's it. It's x plus 4. But on this one, you have an x squared, which means you can break it up into two different x's. Does that help a little bit? Okay. Yeah. What are your factors here? x squared minus 16 factors the what? Okay. So on your quiz, some of them are multiple choice, but then some of them want you to fill in the blank and they want you to say, okay, well, what's your numerator and what's your denominator? Well, on this one, both of those cancel out. So do we have anything left in the top? No, but you can't put zero in the top because they didn't go to zero. They went to one. So what's in the top is one. You replace x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 with 1. Remember, that's 1, not 0. Are you okay with that? What's your denom? x minus 4. So in your quiz, in the numerator blank, you would plug in 1. And in the denominator blank, you would plug in x minus 4. So I think four of them are multiple choice, and then the other six are what is left in the numerator, what is left in the denominator. Four and five, I don't really like those. Let me give you a new one. Let's do x squared 
plus 9x plus 20 over x squared plus 11x plus 30. Okay, you guys either factor with your brains or factor with Desmos. Simplify. I'm going to walk through to make sure you're doing this. Then I'm going to pick some sticks for the numerator and the denominator. Oh my gosh, that sighing is so unnecessary. I know. This is such a good lesson for right before break. I'm so excited. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we're off until... We, we're done on Friday, and then we come back the third. Oh my gosh, are you guys doing this? Knock it off. <laughs> you do not have osteoporosis. You have osteo, don't want to be doing it. <laughs> Get into death mode. How are you doing this without death? Come on. <laughs> like this class is the easiest in the world to pass if you just pay attention. Don't you got to memorize a medical term? Yeah. You got to memorize mm -hmm. some stuff? Okay, let me let me get my people ready. Carly, I pulled yours for real these. Look. Did you really? Yeah, look. Okay, Carly's giving us the numerator. Oh, wait, are you done? I can wait. No, I did already. Okay. I only did the numerator part. What is it? Wait, am I giving you like step by step? No, you're giving me so like the final answer. So let me unfreeze. X plus four is in the top. Fire, what's in the denominator? Okay, I'll wait. I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds. Excellent. So what I have here, numerator, I would plug in x plus 4. Denominator, I would plug in x plus 6. If you graphed these using Desmos, you would get a negative 4 and a negative 5. So you put the opposite. Negative 5, negative 6. You put the opposite. Do you see what's happening? What? What did you say? Okay, do this one. Number 6. He's all the way hanging out in the bottom right-hand corner. I don't really know why he's hiding, but you guys do this one now. Maybe we should learn more today. Because if you use a shortcut, this kind of goes by fast. What? I feel like I give you guys a very reasonable amount of work. Huh? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I get what you're saying. True. Are you guys ready to check in? Oh, good. Zach had a real good attitude that time.
Those are distance learners, Ashlyn and Stephanie. Leonie. Gabby Heidi. Hugo. Numerator. Nope, just X plus one. Good job. X plus one in the top. Does anybody know Elizabeth? She used to come every day. Now she doesn't come every day. Diamond, Logan. Jeez, Louise. Cheyenne, bottom. Excellent. X plus one over X plus two. I feel like you guys are feeling pretty good. Is that true? Zach, good heavens. Okay, I release you. You're going to try your quiz? Yes. Okay, try your quiz.